Hi, welcome to showmethecurry.com. I'm Anuja. And I'm Hithal. And today we're going to show you how to make basic rasam. Mm -hmm. Now, rasam is a, um, it's a soup. It's a very thin, brothy, almost watery type of soup made with turdal. And it's a staple in most South Asian homes. So it's absolutely delicious. Right, and it's just packed with flavor. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. <laughs> and uh, it's traditionally had with rice. But, of course, you can have it like Hethel mentioned, like soup, it's still really good. And now every, res every family, every region has have their own little tweaks and variations to it and uh, they are all fabulous. <laughs> this is just a basic recipe that really works well for us, so we're going to share it with you. So our basic ingredient for rasam is tur dal and um, like we mentioned before it's normally very brothy and very thin but uh, we're going to take it a little step further and give a little bit of substance to it so we're using a little more tur dal than normally would be used mm -hmm. because what people do is when they cook tur dal for their sambar they take the water that's remaining on top and they skim it off and then that's the base of their rasam but in our case we are going to be using a little bit of that tur dal to give it substance. Right, so we have half a cup of tur dal there and it's been washed and drained and we're going to add two cups of water to it close it up and we're going to take it to the stove and pressure cook it for three whistles so you want it to whistle three times mm -hmm. now turdal normally cooks with only one whistle but in this case we want the turdal to be really mashed up well and that's why we're cooking it further so our dal is cooking right now actually it's cooked it whistled three times, we turned it off, now we're waiting for the pressure to go down. So meanwhile we'll get everything else ready. In fact everything is prepped up and we've got two tomatoes over here, approximately this size. We've chopped them down, you can again make them a little bigger or smaller, choice is yours. And traditionally a lot of people actually they, they blanch the tomatoes. So what you do is you just kind of cut a little cross over here and you just dunk them in hot boiling water just for about a minute or so, take it out dunk it in cold water mm -hmm. and then you can just peel the skin off. So if you or one of your kids <laughs> does not like the skin, that's a really easy way to do it. And we're also going to use uh, curry pata or curry leaves for this recipe. Uh, we like to use some in the seasoning and some while the water is boiling. Mm -hmm. So we have a nice um, sprig of it. We can use half now and half later. We also have about three large cloves of garlic we've just roughly chopped mm -hmm. and we got two green chilies and that's absolutely to taste. We've just slid it down the middle and it's gonna be boiling with everything else. Mm -hmm. We also have about a tablespoon of jaggery uh, just to take the edge off the acidity of the tomatoes. Now that is optional. Some people like it, some people don't or you can switch it and use sugar instead. Right. So let's start putting things in here. We got six cups of water over here and to this we're going to add the tomatoes and we're going to use about half a sprig of our curry leaves these are green chilies, garlic, jaggery and we have a recipe for rasam powder on our website and here's what we're using it's so flavorful mm -hmm. and fresh. it is <laughs> absolutely fresh. We're going to add two tablespoons of rasam powder. Now if you don't have your homemade rasam powder, you can buy the store-bought ones. They come in a little pouch, a mm -hmm. uh, plastic pouch, and you can use it the same way. Now each brand, whatever you use, whether it's homemade or any different brands, will have different intensity levels. So this is one of those things where you taste and you go and eventually you'll figure out how much you need but um, right. it's totally adjustable. We're also going to add some salt, 1 8 teaspoon of uh, turmeric powder or haldi and 1 8 teaspoon of asafoetida or hink. So once all your ingredients are in the pot you can take it to the stove and let it come to a boil and let it keep boiling and all the flavors are just going to mix together. Mm -hmm. So the dal is ready, the pressure is gone open it up and it's so soft it's almost breaking so that's perfect we're just going to use the back of this ladle and just soften it a little bit more and mash it up and over here our mixture here has reduced quite a bit and the tomatoes have also softened up so what we're going to do is add the dal inside We also have some homemade tamarind paste that we made earlier and the recipe for this is on the website. And we're going to put two tablespoons of tamarind paste or to taste. 
sawdust to taste. Yeah. And we're going to add some red chili powder to taste. And once everything is mixed together, we're going to continue letting it boil for at least another 10 minutes. So our essence has been boiling for about 10-12 minutes and it looks perfect now. It's the right consistency for us. And uh, we've also gone ahead and tasted it to make sure we need, didn't need to adjust any salt or tamarind paste or anything else. So now we'll work on the seasoning. We've got one tablespoon of clarified butter or ghee in here. And it's for rasam it's very important to use ghee. To this, once it's hot, we're going to add half a teaspoon of mustard seeds. Allow them to pop. We're going to now turn on the heat and add in some red chilies. One eight teaspoon of hing or asafoetida. Balance of the curry leaves. And five cloves of garlic that we've roughly smashed or crushed. And just allow it to cook for like just about 30 seconds. And we're going to put it, pour it into the rasam. And we're going to mix it in. Now what you're going to do is we're going to just let it boil for just another minute or so. And it's ready. So our rasam is ready to enjoy. Now here's final step. As always, we're going to garnish it with some cilantro leaves. And it's ready to serve. Yep. So you enjoy it with either rice or with uh, by itself on a... It's delicious. Cool day. It's yeah. really, really good and it's so nutritious. Can't go wrong with it. My mouth is watery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so enjoy this delicious rasam recipe and join us again on another episode of ShowMeTheCurry.com. Adding a pinch of spice to your life.